Okay? Oh, ah, great. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Three Questions with Kevin. <laughs> there are many songs that you guys know. As soon as you hear the music, you know it's going to be a good song. Then you hear the vocals, <clears throat> you know it's going to be a great song. Songs like Don't Stop Believing with Steve Perry. Songs like uh, Come Sail Away with Dennis DeYoung. And of course, I the Tiger with Dave Bickler, our special guest here today. Dave, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, glad you guys could come. Uh, we are happy to be here. We may not leave. Okay, you can stay. Okay. By the way, <clears throat> I am here with <clears throat> two other cameras because they wanted to do uh, <clears throat> get into Dave's house. Well, who brought you to the picture? Like my wife. <clears throat> and for the record, we are in Dave's house and we did not break in. <clears throat> Although we were told to use the side door, because she didn't want to leave. Dog, oh, dog peril. I don't know what it is about that front door, but for some reason, when I open that door and someone comes in, they just go bananas. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they, they come together, then they start to fight. And then is that the story you're going with? Because I think the story is you don't want the neighbors to see us. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, that, that's like a new part of the house in addition, so it's a much better door. Yeah, oh, old, old, old door. Well, your dog's great. This one who I can't touch. You warned me is ready. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, ready. A, he's got mental problems. Well, <laughs> we, we all do, right? Do to, look at me. I'm, I'm a <laughs> year old guy, and I'm freaking doing these stupid videos. Uh, hopefully they'll get popular. Hey, Patty got behind you? No, you see the gold records you have for Iron Tiger? Everybody see that? Great. Dave, like I said, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh. This is going to be awesome. Relax. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, this is nothing that's going to be TMZ material unless you want it to be. <laughs> then I could change the questions. I don't, I don't think there's anything controversial about it, so it's, it's okay. You don't know the questions? Yeah, true. true. And by the way, nobody I knows. Know, I always answer truthfully. And that's Good. I can promise Truth you, promise will you set you free. It's true. I believe that. I've heard that. All right. Just let you guys know also, I did a little research on Dave. Dave Ridge from North Dakota. And I did not know this until Lou Siegel, shout out to Lou, told me that you were the voice of real men of genius. That's true. Uh, look at that. <clears throat> How many people have one of those? Oh, look at that. Check it out, Noah. Real men of genius. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have my very own neon sign. That, let me tell you something. I used to love those commercials, and I'm not kidding. I used to go online and try to find like five, six of them and just listen to them. And I didn't know what to reason. <clears throat> I have You guys were... <laughs> there was one I saw recently that came up. There were like 230 of them or something like that. Wasn't that many? Yeah, not all of them went on the air. Some of them... <clears throat> that was not so, a question, by the way. Some of them were so far over the edge that while we were making them, I was looking at the guys, you know, like from DDB or the agency, going, like, really? Are you serious? Can you put this on the air? Wow. Uh, and, well, and, 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 and it's true, some of them would go on and then they... There was an outcry, like the one about the uh, budget airlines, you know, uh, something about, you know, in, impugning that you might be, your safety might be at risk, and that didn't sit really? well with the pilots. So, so I can only imagine. They really complained. I assume this so after they, were, they yanked that one off. I can only imagine. <laughs> um, by the way, Dave and I are like this now. After this, we're going out. <laughs> we're friends. Dave, we can go walk around to Chappaqua. If you want, we can go to New City, where I live, and we can find a good pizza place or a good nail salon, because there's nothing else really going on. <laughs> right, we have a lot of that here, too. This was amazing. No, this is Chappaqua. you got to, maybe, maybe, maybe a liquor store also. We, we do. We, we have a couple of, of good restaurants, too, in town. That's awesome. And Dave's going to come to my Thanksgiving flag football game, and, <laughs> and uh, we're going to go out Friday night for drinks. Yeah, sure. Good to go. All right. I don't want to waste too much of your time. This is already uh, longer than any other interview, so here it goes. The way it works is this. I'm sure you've seen, you've seen a couple of the interviews yeah. I'm seeing. All right. I asked you three questions. The only reason I would ask you a fourth question is if you don't answer any of the previous questions. Okay. okay here we go. Relax. Um, I am relaxed. I think, do uh, I look unrelaxed? I, I, awesome. I think I did. <clears throat> Real man of genius. We salute you, Mr. Pass Wind in the Elevator. That was one of us recently. All right. First question. <laughs> Dave. You were known when, uh, uh, during the height of, by the way, Eye the Tiger, he's seen almost 200 million times on YouTube, that's a fact. I didn't know that. 198 million last time I saw it. Gee. That's unbelievable. That's crazy, though. That's crazy. I, that's I, I, I account for some of those, because I liked, like, when, like, little kids, like, they, you know, this one little girl, it was for uh, Alzheimer's, I think, it was, it was a, they were collecting for charity, and so she sang I Had the Tiger with her dad, and she had the collection thing in her hand, she's going, da, 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 with this thing. Oh, my God. It was God. the best. That is the best. Four years old, the little girl, just this so cute. So I, I, we, speaking part. <laughs> we watch all that stuff all the time, me and my wife did. So. Oh, my God. Right. Right. So here goes. First question. Back in when when I Tai came out, you were known for wearing a beret. Right. Two part question. One, why did you stop wearing the beret, and what happened to the beret? I lost the beret um, somewhere along the way in moving. Um, the the beret um, was too hot. It, I mean, it just got to be too hot. It was a cool like uh, you know prop like for that picture. Right there. I don't know if you get that. 
Which, which is in the uh, the I have a Tiger album. It's on the back of the album. Um, yeah. Very cool. You but, that's a shame. But but uh, you know, I, actually, I just I just got a new one. I, I was uh, controlling around on Amazon, so I bought one. Really? <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out again. Oh, gonna, it's oh. gonna it's gonna happen. We're gonna get a picture of you mm-hmm. with that before you leave. Well, I don't have it yet. I just ordered oh, it today. You should have came tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm not kidding. Uh, hopefully, you're a prime. I do have prime, oh, well, but I don't think it's gonna. It came from some other one of their extra sellers. You know, they got the, the, the auxiliary yeah. sellers, so it's not gonna come right from their warehouse. So right. it'll take a little longer. Fair enough. Now we know what happened. Yeah, and yeah. And I'll send you. I'll send you a picture of me. Yeah, I'm gonna give you my cell phone number. Right. Right. Second question, Dave. Um, you've been in the music world for obviously a long time. Yeah. You've been a musician. Who is the one performer you would like to collaborate with that you have not had the opportunity to collaborate with yet? Oh, gee. Well, you know, I, 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 well, I, one of my favorite artists that I, I just think is so, oh, his, as an artist, he's so remarkable, is like Tom Petty. You know, uh, you know, he, he, you know, you know, he's like just, just totally great. You know, and, and he's spanned his career. He just keeps doing it, the same thing he's doing, yeah. better, even better all the time. Absolutely. And, you know, it's timeless. It's timeless music. Everybody, you know what I mean. Can, I'm assuming you know him. I don't know. No, but Tom. <laughs> well, you know what? When I send this out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet to Tom Petty <laughs> and Mike Campbell too. Is you know, Mike uh, Campbell, he's sure. A, he's a you know also part of that songwriting thing, and you know, he's, he's many he's years with many other artists. You know. Okay, well, I yeah, I know Mike Campbell. Yeah. Suzanne and I married 22 years. I guess like 26, 27 years ago, I went to a concert with Tom Petty at the Nassau Coliseum in Long Island. Um, Lenny Kravitz was the opening act. Oh, I love Lenny. Kravitz. That that is a good combination. Lenny Kravitz and Tom Petty. So, Chris Cornell, back. I like Chris Cornell. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Uh, my 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 producer was working on my record. He says I can hear that in the, this stuff. So I'll, I'll, I said I'll take. That. I look at. Well, I'll, I'll I'll take I'm that. not going to ask you, but if you want, because I can't believe the third question. You could, if you want, you can whisper my ear when the uh, album is coming out. Well, it'll be late summer, early fall. Uh, I, I was hoping to get it done sooner, but the, you know <clears> the guy that I work with, he's got other projects and commitments that he has to keep up with uh, as well as mine. So gotcha. You know. Okay. Cool. Um, and third question: We're having so much fun. Is that okay? is the video okay? Fine. Is the video fine? It's fine. Okay, good. That would be. Let me give a shout out, Stephen Dakutis. That's a that sound spa. That's that's my my guy. Right. <laughs> By the way, my wife was so concerned with how she dressed today. She had a dot on a thing before, and she's like, "It's got to be clean." I'm like, "Suzanne, he's not going to ask you out. He's a married guy." But <laughs> <laughs> no, my wife wouldn't like it. No, <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, what some people do is up to them. And, and third question, I don't know if you've seen the interviews. Third question is usually a live question, a stupid question, a ridiculous question. What is the one thing that gives you the eebie-jeebies? That, you know, the creeps. Oh, okay. Like, I hate mice and the spiders and... I, 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 I don't like spiders when they're on me. <laughs> but what, 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 what makes you go like this? A spider crawling on me? Yes, that gives me the eebie Mice a little bit, but, you know, in fact, speaking of mice, I have a mouse story for you. This is awesome. I was sitting here. I was sitting here working on something. Dave, what's the lunch? Oh, I can't ask that question. I, I, was, I was actually on the phone talking to someone, and I'm, but I, you know, I was at the computer. I've been working on music, and I looked. I felt something on my foot, and I looked down. And there's a little tiny baby oh. mice crawling up my. Foot. Yeah, I like screaming. <laughs> so now you got the EBG. <laughs> I know the EBG. Turn it around now. Well, the way you mice is killing. But but so mice I and spiders. So mice and spiders give you the EBGs. You know, yeah, like I said, they're crawling on me. So, but when you, when you deal with them, you could say you're a survivor. <laughs> I I truly believe I, I I would I would call myself a survivor. I have survived the music business, uh, you know, in more or less intact. But, well, you know, well, you know, I was I, I know that you would survivor for um uh, for a while, and then recently you would survivor. Yeah. Um, you left a few months ago. Yeah, I, I went back. Uh, I went back with Survivor because uh, uh, Frank Sullivan called me up and asked me. Uh, he said, "You you and Jimmy, would you guys would you consider coming out? You know, with Jimmy together? passed away. Yeah, Jimmy passed away. So, so this was in 20." 2012, I think he asked me, and so I went to rehearsal, and it sounded amazing. And you know, I I'd been friends with Jimmy for quite a while before that, so I jumped at that chance to do that, you know, with him. And we had a we had a ball doing it. He died. It was it was August of 2014. You know. That's a shame. Uh, just terrible. I was so completely shocked. But I, I knew he did some have some health problems. I didn't know how bad it was. There was no drugs in there. Well, the, uh, you know, I'm rather not say, you know. But it's not for you to say. Yeah, it's not for me to say. But the, there was a drug report. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm, sure if, I'm sure if I Google it, I'd see it anyway. So you don't know, you know, say anything. Yeah, so. it's not, it's not uh, hidden knowledge. That's unbelievable. Listen, guys, we're going to let you go now because Dave and I are going out to lunch and Dave's buying um, right. someplace right. in Chappaqua. I'm happy to do that. Um, <laughs> Noah and Suzanne, you're on your own. Dave, i got to tell you, this is a pleasure. I'm going to you know, put this up soon, um, uh, probably later tonight, so we can figure out how to consolidate this stuff. Um, sure. This is an honor. 
Uh, and I appreciate, you know, you being oh, so cool. I'm, 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 I'm in your house. I'm in Dave Bickler's house. No, can you scan? Awesome. Look at all the freaking music stuff here. This is awesome. Well, it's a small room. <laughs> but still, you got a bunch of stuff here. So, Dave, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. No, Dave. turn around. Dave, turn around. And your cell phone Absolutely. number is? <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs>